area-based maintenance and assigning responsibilities to specific owners. Create remotely notified users and user groups. Open the System Settings app and choose Notifications from the main menu. Choose Notified User Management, Users, from the Navigation pane and create Remotely Notified Users. Create a user for Monitoring Area Maintenance A. Create users for Monitoring Area Maintenance B and Monitoring Area Maintenance C by referring to the operation for Monitoring Area Maintenance A. Create Notified User Groups. Create Monitoring Area Maintenance Group A that contains the user for Monitoring Area Maintenance A. Create Monitoring Area Maintenance Group B that contains the user for Monitoring Area Maintenance B. Create Monitoring Area Maintenance Group C that contains the user for Monitoring Area Maintenance C. Bind the Monitoring Area Maintenance Groups to the Monitoring Areas so that remote notifications can be sent when alarm events are reported in the Monitoring Areas. Open the Optical Fiber Sensing app and create Monitoring Areas. Access the Monitoring Area Management page and create Monitoring Areas and the corresponding owner groups. Create Monitoring Area A and select a fiber. Configure the fiber scope for Monitoring Area A. Select Monitoring Area Maintenance Group A for Owner Group. Create Monitoring Area B whose fiber scope is different from that of Monitoring Area A. No owner group is set for Monitoring Area B. Create Monitoring Area C whose fiber scope is different from those of Monitoring Areas A and B. Bind Monitoring Area C to the Monitoring Area Maintenance Group, C. The owner groups of the Monitoring Area have been bound. An intrusion alarm event is reported within Monitoring Area A and displayed on the GIS map. Open the System Settings app to view the remote notification result of the Monitoring Area. Choose Notifications from the main menu. In the Navigation pane, choose View Notification Logs. The remote notification logs of the intrusion alarm event reported within Monitoring Area A are displayed. An intrusion alarm event is reported within Monitoring Area B and displayed on the GIS map. Because Monitoring Area B is not bound to an owner group, manually select an owner group for SMS notification. Open the System Settings app to view the remote notification logs of Monitoring Area B. Create an unguarded segment. Enter the segment name and set the segment fiber and range. A new unguarded segment is in the unguarded state by default. If an intrusion event occurs, the event is displayed only on the current alarms page of the Alarm Monitor app. The intrusion event is not displayed in the unguarded segment of the GIS map. Open the Alarm Monitor app and check whether an alarm is reported. On the current alarms page, an alarm is reported for the intrusion event in the unguarded segment. Re-enable the guarding function in the unguarded segment. After guarding is enabled in the unguarded segment, an intrusion event is reported and displayed on the GIS map. On the Event Notification page, you can view the intrusion event alarm. After guarding is enabled in the unguarded segment, alarms are reported properly. After guarding is enabled in the unguarded segment, the remote notification of the monitoring area is normal. Access the Comprehensive Analysis of Historical Warnings page and view the analysis chart of historical fiber intrusion events. Zoom out of the analysis chart 
many intrusion events are displayed at a distance of 0 to 3 kilometers away from the fiber. Patrol needs to be strengthened within this range.